you, welcome to Geekism, welcome back to Mega Aquarium. We're cracking on, it's day 35, we've got a lovely little letter, and a stingray has grown. Fantastic, nothing else though. Uh, so, we're hopefully going to get this one finished in this episode, I think it's doable. We're heading towards 3,000 prestige points, and we need to get 3,500, but we are on track for getting hold of some new uh, fish. So we've got the fried egg jelly, which sounds gross, um, <laughs> which we can just throw into a crystal tank and go for it, that's not a problem. We've got another coral there. I don't think we have many coral, do we? Let's have a look. I don't think we have any coral. There is a single coral available in this level. Okay, well, hopefully we can put that coral in with something that likes coral, and that's all good. I would love to give these stingrays more space. We've just down to two of them now, and it ain't great. We do have that big old Chicago tank. That looks exciting, doesn't it? I'm going to go for the large light, because I think that coral needs it, and it's quite an awkward little thing. Um, let me have a little look. Yeah, 15, look. Uh, no, cancel. Yeah, no, okay. They're good science points and good-ish prestige. These are really good prestige. Though. Look at those. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to put those in. So, I was that Chicago tank? I was thinking in the last episode, we were going to look at doing these cold ones here. This catfish and this hatchet fish and... and Maybe something. Oh, no, they're warm ones, these ones. Sorry. Warm fish. Warm fresh water. Thank you. Uh, you're warm. Not fresh water. Okay. So, warm fresh water here. Catfish and hatchet fish. And then maybe throw a few more things in. You'll eat crustaceans between 1 and 12. They're only 4. You'll eat. You'll eat anything you get your hands on. No, you won't eat it. You won't eat. Okay, so how'd you fish? So there may be some Corys. Uh, communal likes to share at least different species of animal. That could be done. Um, okay. 36, what are you? Gale? Smashing it, Gale. Dakota? What a legend. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to put one of those new Chicago... I think they're called Chicago tanks in. Which is like a corner tank where you can... Uh, choose which corner is visible and which one isn't, okay? So there's a Chicago tank here where the only internal corner is there, look. Or there's this one where it's the other way around. So I'm going to go for that one that's the other way around. And we're going to have it here connected up to this backstage here. So um, let's bring that out to there. And I, and I, I think we're going to have to go this way a little bit as well. But I might neaten that up afterwards. So let's go Chicago tank internal. And we're going to put it around that way, and I'm going to... Oh, okay, it brings that out as well. Let's do it that way then, okay. Yeah. Okay, and now we'll move it. Actually, I kind of like where it is. Well, maybe we'll go right up that way. No, let's go... Let's make the most of this wall and go that way, and we can have some benches here or something. And otherwise, that's, that's then fine. Okay, and then the backstage of this is going to come across here and up. And then we've got, oh, can we not put it there? Oh, that's kind of poop. How about like that? Well, okay, that'll do. There's a little viewing area there that I'm not big on, but whatevs. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So, harborside, um, actually, let's put, let's put some wood around the very edge of this. So let's go pirates, no, what's it called? I did this in the last one, shipwreck, there we go. Let's do shipwreck and shipwreck, and there and there shipwreck. Um, I'm gonna carry that wall over just to so it matches the other side, and then also it gives us a little bit of play around with this space here. So we'll move you back. And then we'll paint that floor in, because I've just realized we missed a bit from last time. Here. There we go. So we'll paint all that in to there. And we'll do that because it's weird. In fact, we'll go right up to there. Why not? Gives us a bit more space to work with. And it keeps it neat. Yeah, there we go. So you come down here and you've got this nice big tank here that we're going to be able to put all sorts of cool stuff in. So... Uh, let's come around like that and then come down here and then that can be a staff door uh, we haven't had one for a while makes sense I guess put a staff door there yep 
And also, what else can we have? So we're going to do some padded benches here and here. Yeah, that looks good. And then there and... Yeah, there, because this, this is all kind of dead space, isn't it? So let us... Let us... Uh, let us minus that. Hmm. That's not great, but whatever. A bit of trash there. Suggests we probably need some trash cans. So, put one there, and we'll have one up in the corner here. Those who need it, and maybe one there as well. Okay. Right, so let's get some fish in here. So, giant hatchet fish. Let me just double check. Warm water. They need three. They need some space. Uh, they need some floaty things they need their wimps so that you should be fine you're little i think we could put like 10 of you in here one because just tiny look one two three four five six seven eight nine ten whatever and then also you so you get only eat crustaceans you uh get pretty big catfish you need some caves uh you need some open space but otherwise you're okay ah hold on Requires acidic water, requires acidic water. Okay, so they both, in fact, everything here apart from you. And you are acidic or neutral. So there's only the crabs, but you can't go in there anyway. So these catfish, I'm going to put three of you in there. So with those and those, I feel like we can go more. I feel like we've got, I mean, we've already got cardinal searches. They're tiny though, right? You can't go in. I can't remember why. Because you will eat fish. Okay, so you'll eat fish. You're no good. You like to go in with two other species. That's fine. It needs five of you in there. I feel like you should be able to go in there. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that is a big tank for some small fish. Maybe there's something here. No, you're cold. Paddlefish. Warm. You like it neutral. No good. Oops. Okay, so you will eat little things, so you're no good. And also, I haven't got two turtles to give you. Uh, we have these. Warm. Cannot be housed with other butterflies. Wimps. That's fine. You're not freshwater. Okay, never mind. Seahorse. Uh... You're not freshwater. You're not freshwater. You're not freshwater. Right, so there's nothing else that's going. This is a hell of a tank for some tiny, tiny ass fish, okay? <laughs> but it'll look good once we've filled it all out with some scenery and stuff. So what needs to go in here then? Let's have a look. Let's do filtration and stuff first. Um, it's got to be a mega heater, let's be honest. That's going to go straight in there. Even that isn't enough. Whoa. Okay, let's put in a um, let's put in a pump so we can make the most of the space here. Okay. So, because we're going to need you, and we're also going to need another one of you. And another one of you? Okay. Whoa. And then lots of filtration. So this is fresh water. So actually, we could probably lose that one and put in a large combi. And then you just need something else to bump up the filtration. And what's this one do? Helps achieve higher water quality. Not by much, it doesn't. That one. Oh god, we've got to do all this acidity as well. Look, jeez, this tank is huge. Okay, um, how are we going to be able to do this? We need to put just more filtration in it, right? Mega filter. I think we're going to have to come around the back here, aren't we? I think we're going to have to come to there. And and we can, oh not blue, we can treat it like at the back here there's a nice little 
bit you can see of what's going on, I guess. You know, you can't hide it, so let's put a mega filter on it. There you go, that's the filtration. So you still need a load of acidity. Um, so large RO, 125. So I reckon if we go one, two, three, four, that's all you need of that. Okay, so you can get up there, you can feed them. You've got all the stuff you need there. Uh, all right, so there's no actual reason for that pump, is there? Let's just, we'll just fill them up this way. So you just need some new filtration. Yeah, put two of them in so it doesn't fail. Yeah. So cave-wise then, let's put one of those massive caves in. I like that from last time. Gaping cavern. Uh, I'm hoping we can do it. Oh, we're not going to be able to do it in that corner, are we? That's a shame. Let's go that way one then. And it's still not enough, actually. We need some more caves. So let's put in some oh, little overhangs because they kind of match, right? There we go. Plenty of caves. Uh, so they need nine of the floaty ones because they'll count for those as well. So freshwater floaties. So we've got tiger lilies and we've got the floating lettuce. So I, I'm going to say tiger lilies because they are, they're nice to... Why can't we do that? The tank does not meet the objects required down. I think the tank's too deep for them. I think that's the problem there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, damn dogs. Who'd have them? It was just the postman. Hey, we uh... How cliche is that? So, uh, we, uh, grass, yes. So it's going to have to be these ones there, floating lettuce. Yeah? So, four. Okay, now I feel like I've still got the three by three. There's loads of space still, which is fine. So they just need some bog wood. So if we get some bog wood and keep it, out to the sides. Yeah, I like that, but I think I'm probably going for some logs with, with uh, a fewer, fewer needs there then. Yeah, so do that way. Still think they've got the space they need. Let's have a look. Rips look actually still got their 3x3. Three three. That's fine. Uh, so you're all happy, happy. So you will grow. You will grow and you will grow. Okay, that is... A pretty crazy over-the-top tank for relatively small fish, but I don't mind. So roach, bloodworm, and brine shrimp. Uh, where, 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 where? Roach. So bloodworm was one. Uh, roach and brine shrimp. I keep thinking that they're, they're almost alphabetical. Okay. We were coming in now and really not earning much at all. But there, some of them will grow. And yeah, that's a bit of a depressing tank, I'm going to be honest. Let's see if we can get some snake grass or something. Just something to liven the place up a little bit. I think as long as I keep this to the sides and therefore out of this bigger area here. So hold on, one, two, three. So yeah, there's the three by three. So as long as we keep that clear, I think they're okay. And that, there you go. That's a bit more interesting now, isn't it? Maybe even like a lower tree, lower plant as well. See, that's kind of encroaching. There's the three by three, so they should be fine there. Yeah, that that's it then, isn't it? Because there's three by three that we've got to keep clear. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Okay. That's that. So we'll stick a thing on that. There's three different types of fish in there, and they don't they have quite a good set of um requirements. Um K they have K's, they have floating. That was kind of it, wasn't it? They're the ones that require care requirements across all animals. I think let's have a let's just try both, alright? Let's try. If we put that down there, it'll tell us, right, what it's earning. That's earning ten. Ten unique requirements. 
So if I then put a a colored oh hello, thank you. All. Ecology on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So this is the thing you see. You can't have both. So that was that was producing ten prestige. Uh, mega row. That would be good for here. So that was producing ten prestige. So if we do a ecology one, and that produces three. So I mean. That's literally just one per fish. So the science one is way better. There we go. Um, and I think, do you know what we haven't done for ages? Is have some stuff in here. We've we unlocked some new things. We unlocked a ship's wheel, a boy, an Easter Island head. That's pretty cool, isn't it? There's no way that's going to fit in anywhere. But I'm thinking we can maybe do some... Like smaller things. Lantern, that's got to be a one square one that could go somewhere. Yeah, look at that. Little things like that. Uh, oh, man, the ma the mailman again or somebody. I don't know. Oh, that one was a parcel for Nicola. Right, okay. Five, seven messages, my word. So, Pollock growing. He's fine. Uh, butterfly ram. Uh, no, I've done it again, look. <laughs> Old messages. Leopard sharks are growing. That makes more sense. Sunshine, Pleco. We'd, something got destructed. Oh. And they, I'm, I'm pretty sure it can grow because there's some sufficient tank, uh, space. I don't care. Uh, tank 2. Sunshine, Pleco. Why are you not happy? Oh, the turtle has eaten the bogwood. So where's the plant eater thing? There. So the eastern long turtle, tank two. Where is tank two? Right here. So you've you have eaten the bogwood, you naughty so and so's. So what do we need? you don't you don't need all them stones, do you? So can we get rid of some stones? Actually let's get rid of the decorations. I know you do need stones. Oh, maybe there's too much stuff in here then. Uh, okay. Let's see what you need. So you need acidity, filtration. And surely the acidity and filtration wasn't coming off that one piece of bogwood or java fern or whatever it was. Right. There's no filtration. Is that just because I moved? That's just because I've just unhooked that, isn't it? Lack of simulation from insufficient. Oh, you're one of them, are you? You're one of those that need lots of different things. So hold on then. Let's put in a conch and a shell. Keep it a bit more natural. So, needs three more rocks. And needs two more floaty plants. That's a really tight squeeze, that one, isn't it? And two more rocks. I mean, that small rocks only add one. And I mean, literally, that is full. Is it just because we've got an extra sunshine pleco now? Is that they want more more rocks? Now, did anyone want to buy a sunshine pleco? Sunshine pleco for a bull hus. Yes. Okay. There we go. That's why we were breeding the sunshine plecos. Right. We now have three bull hus. These are cold. Oh, okay. So I can't see why they wouldn't go in here. This is our cold tank. Let's have a look. Cold water. Cold water. 70%. 86. They cockles. They eat crustaceans. That's not a problem. They require a supplement. I think our, uh, our bull husses. We can drop them in there. 
without much require extra additions. Are they, they supplements? Is the only thing we can put one of those down for them. Supplements. Boom. I think that's okay. They can go in there. Those wolf fish are pretty sweet. Look at those. And there's some bullhuss in there now. We've also got that big RO. Uh, let's get the team. Oh, we haven't even done a uh, thought of doing a gift shop in this one, have we? I don't really need money. Let's just do a triple filter. Might help. Okay. Dante leveled up. Do a bit of fixing. Feeding. Anyone's I'm really fussed about. I know they could probably clean more, but otherwise I'm okay with it. So I'm just going to get rid of these. Now, there's really not much in it. But it just means there's two machines to fix rather than four machines to be fixed, right? It, uh, and and I think they re they require refilling less often, and they probably produce more as well. Let's have a look. Three hundred, yeah. So we, uh, although we don't need the extra juice, it does help. So uh, toolboxes. We haven't put any of those around for a little while, and I always forget. One. one new male here. Emperor Angelfish. So tank 15, that's this little one down here. Is there just too much fish in here? There's just too many fish. So let's get rid of a regal tank. Because we can buy those. And you'll you'll grow now. I don't think you did grow. But sure. Oh, they want to get to 10. That's good. Oh look, we're so close. I didn't even realise we were that close. I knew we were getting there. Look at that! <laughs> you did it! Karobi's collection is now bursting with animals. Each one expertly sourced or bred by yourself. Mostly sourced, I bought them all. Uh, it's time for your final challenge. You are to build a brand new aquarium in Diamond River, the home of the American manatee. Uh, you can continue building here as long as you want. The message will stay in your message log. When you're ready to take the final challenge, let me know. Let's go for it. Um, let's just have one last little look around here, how we got on in the end. So, started off with a few over here. Didn't really do much with them. Probably could have spread these out a little bit and helped them breed better. But piranhas did well for us. Uh, these little, like, quarries and stuff did pretty good for us. Quarries and cardinals. Stingrays, they didn't have the space they deserved, and we'll remember that for next time we do them. This one was pretty good. Kind of happy with how that one turned out, although it does look a little sparse. The eel was pretty good. Nice to see if I can find something to mix with him. And the crocodiles were awesome. Super happy about those little fellows. And then we had another walkthrough tank that ended up being nice and full, actually. I like that. And then we've got a big tank full of little fish. Didn't quite work that one out properly. And then uh, oh, some sharks there. As we And then we come back around. Okay. All right. So this last one, uh, whatever. This last one, I believe it's the final one. There's five new levels in the, in the update. And I believe it's relatively sandboxy. And when I asked quite a few uh, episodes ago, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to carry on with the thingy or sandbox it? Uh, a few people pointed out, it was like, just keep going. There's only five levels. And the fifth one is pretty much you're free to go. Your final freshwater challenge build a brand new aquarium to prove that you have what it takes um, to look after a fully grown American manatee. You have a long road ahead, firstly to work your way up the ranks using every freshwater animal you have at your disposal. As an added test, you'll, uh, to, you're to obtain and breed a set of hybrid discus Known in equal part for their exotic beauty and challenging breeding requirements. Okay. You have access to ecology and science projects across a range of tanks uh, ranks. Consider tackling projects from earlier ranks first, as you will be able to complete these quicker. After you have accomplished the current set of objectives, you'll be ready to build the ultimate manatee habitat. Good luck. So basically, we've got to do a really good thing here. 29 freshwater species. Discus. Discus patterns, diff discus colours, and and 6,600 prestige. Holy crap, this is huge. Okay, so fish-wise, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 salt water, but it's only fresh water they want us to have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and none of them are discus. So we haven't even got the discus. 
So where are the discuses coming from? Who even knows? Wow. This is what we're going to get started in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, be good. Thank you.